um, on my on my previous video, um, I was discussing about uh, a program using a for loop statement that will ask for an end. It's a dynamic value coming from the user, and then that end will serve as a limit for the loop. Then eventually the program will try tend to evaluate all odd numbers and sum it up. Then at the end of the loop will display the sum of all odd numbers, right? So um, uh, there was a little bit confusion on the manual simulation on my part, but then uh, later on um, <clears throat> I was able to get it right, right? So um, today I am going to share you a slight um, shift right instead of displaying the sum of all odd numbers what if our program will display the sum of all EV numbers what's what's the difference all right okay so um, this is just a very short uh, video so I'm going to share you today and uh, I am I am hoping that uh, the end of this video I'll be able to, to explain the logic of the program the flow and um, eventually you can you can understand uh, the the technicalities of the program okay and uh, I, I I hope you'll you like this video and I hope uh, you can share this YouTube channel of mine to your friends please and let them click uh, subscribe for you know uh, for this uh, YouTube channel, okay. So um, I am going to uh, to share to you today my uh, my online uh, what is this notepad? All right. So this is the pro this is the problem. Write a C program to input a number from the user, all right, and find the sum of all even numbers. Okay, even. EV numbers are actually 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, right? And so on and so on. And any numbers that are, you know, divisible by 2 and the remainder is 0, that's an even number, right? So, um, and we'll be using for loop statement, right? Um, on my previous video, um, we have this, uh, we have this uh, problem, all right? Uh, to to find the sum of all odd numbers and um, if if you can remember and if you watch my my previous video um, we did some simulations right so for our program to to determine whether that particular value is an odd or even we just you know in our for loop statement we tend to initialize our i by i by one and then every time it loops we we did increase it by two so if our i starts at one and when it loops add it by two that's three that's an odd number and when it loops again another two that's five another odd number and it loops again another two that's seven and another odd, odd number and we, we we sum it up every time it loops right sum is equal to plus equals um i then at the end of the program, at the end of the loop, it will display whatever is the value of sum as to the, the sum of all odd numbers. Okay? So, that's it. Now, um, here in our, in our, uh, in our new video, uh, instead of displaying odd, sum of odd numbers, we will be displaying the sum of all even numbers. Alright? So, what is then the difference? Now, here same same uh same output and input statement we we tend to ask for an upper limit and we will store it to variable n all right and then um i then display even number and then display all the ab numbers as it loops all right now here look at this now if you can recall on our previous video that uh, displays the, the sum or the total of all odd numbers with respect to the value of n as our upper limit. In here, 
we we tend to initialize it by one but uh, with this okay in order for us to to add the even numbers we have to start it by two we have to initialize i by two and when it loops we'll add it by two so two plus two that's four that's an even number and it loops again plus two that's six an even number and when it loops again plus two that's eight still an even and so on and, and so forth so a very simple uh, logic but um, the way the way i look at it and the way i i check the the flow of the program um i find it useful to you guys you can use these techniques in in programming okay now we'll try doing simulations all right so here now when our program asks for an upper limit and start it to end assuming our upper limit is five okay so we the user uh, entered five and that five is being stored to n now it displays even numbers all right so no problem with this to display and then here's the loop for i is equal to two meaning we, we initialize i by two all right and then followed by a condition while this condition is true perform this loop if it is false, do not perform an exit and proceed to the next line. Right? So on the first condition is i, which is 2, right? Less than or equal to our n. Our n is how much? 5. So that's true. The condition is true. Now since the condition is true, perform the loop. The loop says increase the value of sum. Whatever is the value by add it up. Our sum is 0. Right? Our sum is 0. Plus the value of i which is 2. Sum becomes 2. Are you following? And then display whatever is the value of i. So it will display what? It will display 2. Now, we don't have box plus n in here. We don't use box plus n. Meaning... The cursor, after printing the value by which is 2, it moves twice to the right. Why? Because of this vacant space. Are you following? A mouse. So, the cursor is here. And it loops again. When it loops, right? I becomes, or, no. Yeah, I. Our I becomes how much? Our I becomes 4. Because we, we, we tend to have this formula, i plus equals 2. Meaning, increase the value of i by 2 every time it loops. And, uh, followed by a condition is your i, which is 4, less than or equal to 5. The condition is still true. Right? Because 4 is four is easier than 5. And then, uh, perform the loop body again. So, the loop body says, update the value of i. Uh, sum. Meaning, whatever is the value of i, add it to sum. Our sum is 2, right? Plus i, which is 4, and it becomes 6. Are you following? Now, the next statement is print if whatever is the value of i. Remember, the cursor is here. We, 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 we don't have box plus n that enables our cursor to move down. So the cursor is at the right side of 2, which is the previous value of, of, of i. So, to display how much? The value of i, which is 4. Right? Now, it loops again because of this curly bracket. Now, when it loops, it increases the value of i. So, our i now is how much? 6. 4 plus 2, that's 6. And condition is 6 lesser than or equal to 5 condition is false now since the condition is false do not perform sum plus equal i and print the value of i but instead display what sum of ev numbers then whatever is the value of sum there are these two box plus in so it will move to beacon space two blank lines and it will display what it will display 
um, sum of even numbers is equal to how much is the sum? Our sum is how much? Our sum is 6. Just play 6. And it will exit. Because return 0 means terminate the program exit. Okay? So it displays 2, 4, and the sum of even numbers is uh, 6. Simple. Okay? So we'll try implementing this one in our um, online um, compiler. Actually, this is the program. So when we click run command or run button, um, um, ultimately our program, I'm sorry, it's not being connected to. Oh, what happened to me? I hope the internet is okay. I'm still on the process of connecting to the server. So now, um, the program is asking for upper limit. So let's say five, the same the same value that we, we, we use in our example. Okay, so five, when you press enter K, that five will be stored to N and it displays all EV numbers, two, four, and it displays the total sum of EV numbers. So meaning our manual simulation is absolutely correct. Right? So, um, a very simple uh, programming problem. But, um, you know, as I said, uh, the way I look at it, you can use this one. You can use these techniques, right? So, we'll be using another value. What was that value? Before, my previous video, 50. We we'll press enter K, alright? So, it displays. Alright? So, even numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Sum of even numbers, right? E650. Now, we can even, we can even, uh, what is this? Uh, we can even, um, 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 integrate the two, right? So, please follow my, my screen. Uh, we'll try to add another for loop, right? And uh, we'll be using i to display add numbers. So we'll try to to fuse our first video and this video. <laughs> Just work. I think somewhat like a bonus. Uh, we'll be using m still, and then um, uh, same same. We'll increase it by by two. But then the variation is on the initialization. The first one to display even numbers, we initialize, we initialize it by 2. And the second one is by 1. Alright? Are you following? And then, um, let us say, we'll try to use another, um, another, uh, what is this? Another variable, let's say, for example, total. Alright? So, equals 0. So, we'll be using total in here. Okay, total uh, plus equals whatever is the value of i. Are you following? Right? And then, um, hmm, print. Okay. Uh, let's see. Print. Uh, what is this? Um, add numbers right and then in here we need to uh, print uh, print if I'm sorry uh, it must be add in here right and then instead of add numbers we have to say percent D okay percent D comma whatever is the value of whatever is the value of i all right and then once it exits from um, the loop we will display are you following um we will display um uh, box plus in box plus in um sum of odd numbers equals percent d 
Alright, and then total. Am I correct? Uh, is this program okay? We'll try, we will try running this program. I hope it's okay. Let us see five, right? It displays. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I need to put backslash here. I hope you're following. Uh, run again. Um, let us see five. See, so look at this. The limit is five. Okay, the first line displays all even numbers, and then the second line displays all odd numbers, right? Then the first one displays what the total of odd numbers, right? The total of odd numbers is one plus three plus five. That's nine. Then the second line displays the total of EV numbers. EV numbers are 2 and 4. So, <laughs> it makes sense. So, another example, another uh, value. Uh, what is that? 50? Let us say 50. Let us, we'll check. Let's, we'll check. See? Uh, the first line displays all EV numbers. 2, 4, 6, 18 up to 50. And the second line displays all odd numbers. And then the next group of lines displays the, the, the total of odd numbers and the total of even numbers. Okay. So it's it's a it's a nice example also. So uh, we we tend to fuse even numbers and odd numbers in, in one program. Okay. So um, I I hope I was able to again explain the logic of the program. The behavior of the program right uh, um, I was able to share my, my way of programming analyzing the program you know the best way for you to be good in programming is expose yourselves to programming activities do programming every day make it a habit make it a habit look for you know programmable situations like for example what if you want to create a C program that will compute for an electronic uh, electric electric bill you can do that water bill right payroll and so on and 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 uh, so forth okay so uh, that's all for this video I, I i hope i was able to 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 share another good uh, good idea as to your programming journey is a uh, concern right so goodbye for now god bless us